Today, I'm gonna take you through my new eBay seller account to show you exactly what I'm doing and what I'm selling in order to take this brand new account to $10,000 per month in revenue within six months. All right, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome. On my channel, we talk everything about e-commerce, reselling, shoes, clothes, uh, Amazon, eBay, Poshmark, a little bit of Shopify here and there. We're talking all things how to make money online, uh, whether that be passively or actively or residually. But listen, today we're talking about my new eBay account. I have a few eBay accounts, a few seller accounts, and uh, I started this one in early December. I looked at the dates. so I started it in early December, and uh, like the first week, and within a couple days, I made my first sale and did a little bit of trickle sales just to sort of get the account warmed up. And then in January, I started going a little bit harder at it. February, I pushed it even a little bit harder. And now we are in uh, early March when I'm filming this video and it's starting to get some solid traction. So let's jump into my eBay seller hub and I'll show you what I mean. So this is my eBay seller hub right here. Uh, I'm leaving all of this open for transparency because this account is my, um, my, test and sort of case study to see how fast we can move this account forward to that uh, $10,000 revenue per month. At $10,000 revenue, uh, after all the fees from eBay and PayPal, after reinvesting back into my business, I still walk away with all of my monthly bills being met plus an additional $1,500. And so that's why I I picked that $10,000 number. It's not an arbitrary number, it was strategic. Um, my monthly bills are about $4,600 with the mortgage and food and automotive care and everything, cell phone and internet and all the things that go with it. Uh, my sourcing budget per month is $2,000 for eBay. That's not including Amazon stuff. The idea is to source $5 or less per item and then sell them for $25 or more plus shipping on eBay. And so right here, you can see we have um, sales. In the last 31 days, we have $829 in sales. Um, it's pretty low. However, whenever you're starting from scratch, it takes some time to build up that momentum. Over here on the right-hand side, you can see the current seller level is above standard. And uh, if they evaluated me today, it would be above standard. Transaction defect rate is zero, so we're doing really good. Late shipment rate is four. Uh, the problem with that is my... Uh, post office is really, really laid back, we'll say. And so they don't always scan stuff in right away. This has been an ongoing problem for the six years that I've lived in my home and had to use this post office. So I talked to eBay about what I can do about that. And they said, hey, sometimes it's on our end and it's on eBay's side of the thing. Uh, so what, what the problem is, is eBay, sometimes their software does not update whenever the item is scanned at its final destination, i.e. the customer's house. So they said, what you need to do is on the 20th of every single month, call eBay customer support and just say, I want to have all my shipments verified. They'll go through and they'll look at everything and they will manually verify that each uh, shipment has made it to the correct place on time. And if there are any that are, are looking like they're late, that they were actually there on time, then they will update those and it will correct that problem and you won't ever run into the issue of being evaluated as below standards because of that issue. I've run into it before on one of my other accounts and it was a total headache. Luckily, they were able to go through, I think I had 16 late shipment rate and we went through one by one and the, uh, the lady on customer support said, hey, this was totally our fault. Um, most of them, most a couple of them were late because of my post office. Most of them though, were because that the eBay system did not update to notify the e, like the seller hub that the item had been delivered on time. So that's my first note and my first point here to make is that if you are a seller on eBay, make sure you call on the 20th or around the 20th of each month before they do the evaluations. She said they do them on the 27th or 28th is whenever the evaluations go through. Make sure you call before the 20th and ask to have all of your shipments verified to make sure they all made it on time. It will save you headaches down the road. So this is my account. You can see um, I have 101 active listings. Some stuff has been selling. It's not been 
incredible, but it's been selling. Uh, we've earned 18 feedback since December 6th, whenever we started um, selling. So I'm going to open that in a new tab and we'll take a look at those. It's a 100% um, positive. You can see right here, zero negative throughout the entire time. Uh, these are all positive selling, uh, yeah, shoes and clothes, different things. So we'll close that out 100% positive there. Uh, there's one underperforming. I'll take care of that in a little while. So that's my seller hub. You can see 18 feedback. And here's a little tip for you that I just learned while doing research about eBay and how to grow your review count. When you buy supplies like boxes or tape or whatever you're going to use to ship, or if you need to buy something for your home, if you buy from big sellers on eBay, like sellers that have 100,000 feedback or 80,000 feet, like really, really high numbers, you get automatic positive feedback. And that positive feedback goes toward that overall number, which it, it counts for you like buyer feedback. So you being the buyer and buying something on eBay counts toward your overall feedback number and really benefits you. We'll look at my last five positive. I bought something the other day right here. I bought some shoe care. Um, from this, you see they have 28,000 feedback and they said A plus, 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 valued customer, enjoy your shoe and leather care. And so I bought some cleaner. Normally I buy on Amazon because I have Prime, uh, but I bought it on here to test this theory out. Like the minute they shipped the item, I got the positive feedback. So I'm going to be buying a lot more stuff on eBay from big sellers just so I can get that feedback because that gives my account credibility and clout when it comes to selling and being a trusted seller on eBay. All right, so let's go into reviewing my sales. I wanna show you the graph that shows when I made sales and how much I made and how frequently. So I'm gonna back this calendar up to, I'm gonna say November 1st, so you can see that it was started in December. We'll say November 1st, and it will only give you 90 days. So that takes you through January 29th. Uh, you can see in that total period, my first sale was here on December 6th, 2019. So a couple days after I started, okay, I sold some stuff for $32. Not exactly sure what I sold, but I think it was probably a few items that day. Um, I wanted to get this account warmed up. I guess I, I sold quite a bit of stuff before I had a $120 day that day. And then January 1st, uh, January 1st, I sold nothing. And then after that, it really fired up. So let's see, I had, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I had 10 total days with some sort of sale. Maybe some of those days had multiple sales or not. Um, just trying to get this warmed up for the new year. However, um, once January hit is whenever I really started getting active with it. And then if you look from January 1st, We'll take January 1st through today, which is March 6th. And we will look at how many days of sales we've had over the past 65, 66 days. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, seven, 28. We've had 30 days in the past 65 or 66 days where we've had sales. I think it's pretty good for a, for a, uh, a selling account that is just starting out. Uh, in that time, we've done $1,632. Uh, let's see what February 1st, because I want to get a number. I want to get like the most recent month, solid number of what we sold in revenue. So $822 for the month of February, not very high. And honestly, um, we've I've got some work cut out for me if I'm going to take this to $10,000 per, uh, per month revenue by July 1st. Uh, my goal is to get it from zero up to ten thousand by July first, so in six months. Now, if it doesn't, if it doesn't actually hit that, that's okay. I'm not going to be upset about it or disappointed. I know that anything worthwhile or worth um, having or worth doing takes time and patience. I've done enough with business in my life uh, to know that you can't rush things. We often overestimate what we can do in a year and underestimate what we can do in 10 years or five years. The start is slow and, and it's meant to be like that because we have to weed out, like success has to weed out all the people that are not in it for the long haul. 
and then the people that stick with it and that really just put in the work and put in the work, put in the work, those are the people that see the massive growth and success toward the uh, the later years of that journey. So this is what I have for my um, my account. Now let's go back into my eBay selling and I want to look at my my items that are listed right now. A lot of these items you will have seen on my thrift hauls and, and that sort of thing. My goal is to list 10 items per day. That is um, not the easiest thing in the world to do. However, I'm trying. Um, and as my days, you know, as I get more comfortable with my days and I work into a routine, uh, that will eventually become the, the standard. Um, so we can see some stuff. This has already been sold. Um, there's a zero quantity now. Uh, and then we have, let's zoom in just a touch. Uh, we got some jeans, more jeans, more jeans. We got a couple books, we got some books. We got these Tommy Hilfiger shorts, um, the vest, the purse, a lot of this stuff that I just picked up from the bins for pennies on the dollar and uh, some stuff from regular Goodwill stores. Um, a lot of shoes. What else? A lot of shoes, a lot of military clothing. And you can see my prices are anywhere from like some of this stuff I'm just trying to get rid of because it's been sitting around for too long. Some of it is higher dollar stuff like this right here, $49 for this women's LL Bean vintage uh, insulated winter trench coat. Uh, I paid $2 for that, but because it's vintage LL Bean and uh, because it's vintage LL Bean, it will go for a little bit higher price. Uh, but my average is I just try to stick with $25 or more when it comes to the sale price. And that's all plus shipping. Very seldom do I sell anything free shipping and $25 per I for that item because um, you just lose too much on the shipping side of things. I do sell some stuff really cheap like this Batman Arkham City for PlayStation 3. I've had this for a couple of years and I just cannot seem to get rid of it. So I list it for $5.99 and I'm pretty sure this is free shipping. Just trying to get it out of here. You can see a lot more shoes and then a final pair of shoes. So that is what I am selling currently, trying to add um, 10 items per day, which would be uh, a minimum $250 worth of revenue fixed price. Uh, some of those items will go for more than $25, but for the most part, you see my fixed price right now with 101 items is uh, $2,850. And so that's right at $28 per item. Some of those items are higher. Some of them are at 20 bucks. You saw that one was at $6, that one video game. So that is my strategy. List 10 items per day, every day, and eventually get to the point where we're selling the sort of the goal or the dream with this is the strategy with it is uh, sell 400 items per month at an average sale cost of $25. And that is $10,000 revenue that breaks down to about 14 items sold per day. And so you can see that by listing 10 items per day right now, that's not going to sell 14 items per day. The numbers just don't add up. But as we're going through this slow time where we're selling one or two items per day, sometimes no items per day. Well, right now, the 10 items that I'm listing every single day is greater than that number that that, that very small number that's selling on this channel. Eventually, when it gets to the point where we're selling 14 items per day, we're going to have to boost the listing up to like 20 items per day just to keep up with that demand and continue to supply more, uh, more inventory to keep the store full and uh, attractive. There's also things like promotions, right? So I can promote this item for 5%. And if you, I, I found that, that the promoted listings do tend to sell pretty well because it puts them at the top of the page. I would recommend that. However, definitely make sure that you um, build that into your tracking spreadsheet if you have one so that your fees on eBay are not 10% plus PayPal fees, but 15% plus PayPal fees or 16% plus PayPal fees. Uh, make sure that you definitely account for that um, that's something that I've done. I've readjusted all of my tracking spreadsheet so that that promoted listing fee, which averages about five or 6% is rolled into my eBay fees. That way I don't have to think about it. I know, um, you know, they're going to charge me 15% on eBay and three and a half percent on PayPal plus 35 cents. I know that I'm paying 18 or 19%. 
But here's the cool deal. It's still a percent or so lower than Poshmark, which takes 20% flat. Um, that's It just makes sense in my mind to promote these listings. I'm already selling on Poshmark and paying out that 20%. Why not pay 18% through the eBay and PayPal fees and be able to get more exposure and potentially make more sales? So for right now, that is my uh, strategy. That's my account. I'm going to try to update these videos once per week to show where we're at, what we're doing, how the sales are going. Um, my uh, next step, I believe everyone should have a next step. There should never be a time in your life when you don't have the next thing you need to be doing. So my next step is to go through here and promote every single listing I have at the average promoted rate of 5%. So the next video next week, uh, when it comes out on Sunday, we'll have all of these items and whatever new items I list, they will all be promoted and be set at that five or 6% promoted rate. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it opened your eyes. I look forward to taking you on this journey. As we grow this eBay account from $0 in early December through 10K, by July 1st. Thank you for watching. I hope you got value out of it. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing. And as always, keep selling, get the bag, and I'll see you on the next video.